Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Sonic Boom playthrough, and we are breaking barrels because I actually do need the rings right now. Do you? <laughs> How did you do that? I want to do that. I took a slight bit of a beating in that level, and uh, the, the game doesn't regenerate your health when you leave a level, unfortunately. Just like real life, Lewis. Stop complaining. <laughs> oh, man. Why do you have to visit a doctor every time you get hurt? Yeah, actually. Yeah, you Fuck walk you, in Ryan. the house and then you walk back out <laughs> two seconds later and you're fine. It's not Another like reason why death is such a slap on the rest in this game, you know, you think losing parts would be such a punishment, but no, treasure chests eventually regenerate. Well, they don't give you as much uh, as much stuff as you do the first time you You get as them. much as you lost. Well, true, but... Yeah. <laughs> Still awkward. Oh my god, the animation. <laughs> <laughs> Amy's mouth. Just, why? Because she has to breathe, Lewis. I'm surprised you haven't gotten the chart, the faster charge uh, one yet. Uh, I wasn't thinking about the charge, uh, actually, at this point. That's why this I haven't been using it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, this is my second playthrough of the game, and I still didn't have a, a, a completely 100% good handle on what worked and what the and what didn't. So, uh, you know, I was completely ignoring the charge shot until Lyric's lair of my second playthrough. Uh, well, um, I, I learned early on that Tails' charge attack, like, shoots a fuck ton of rockets at everything, so uh, that's why I, <laughs> <laughs> I, use, I use that quite a bit. So. It's a bit of a wind-up, though, as humorous as it is to see in action. Um, well, it's just, you know, out of all of the things, a, a faster charged attack sounds like one of the more useful ones, as opposed to double the jackpot, uh, double the, the weapons you get from those robots. Oh, you mean the robots I see, like, maybe once every three levels? Okay, yeah, sure. That sounds useful. You lied. It is. <laughs> it's... So, what is our mission now? <laughs> are we doing more side quest crap, or are we going to the next uh, level? I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time uh, picking stuff up along the way. Uh, get up there, Amy. Oh, fuck. Fail! <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, for some oh. reason, this... The balance beams usually... Usually she'll just automatically grab on from under... Look, she does that. I don't know why she wouldn't get up on that one. I want to program that into every game now. Whenever someone misses a jump, you just hear Clement go, Fail! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a jerk. <laughs> hey, if uh, Smash Brothers can say it, why can't I? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so it's like... Uh, uh, the insulting version of the guy who pops up on screen and goes toasty in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> Fail! Complete with my face in the bottom right. <laughs> Fail! <Yeah. laughs> Someone program that. Someone program that into every game ever. Oh, you, you clearly clipped right. through the fucking that thing. That was bullshit. Fail! Come on, you know, even... even <laughs> Frickin' Super Mario Sunshine handled slanted ground better than this. Well, that's because th those were the best levels in Sunshine. <laughs> like, everything else was kinda crappy, but those levels were amazing. Yeah, but... But, but, but Sunshine could, didn't handle that particular part of the physics very well at all. Treasure chest! Give me a reason to care. <laughs> An IOU slip. <laughs> well, at least there is something at the end of a platforming section. Yeah. Why can't why can't why can't you just platform for the joy of platforming? Why must there always be some kind of reward for you Americans, eh? Why isn't just a thrill of adventure enough of a reward for you? You people make me sick. Oh, says you, the British dude. As it, you can't go five seconds without claiming something as your territory. <laughs> That's different. That's different in claiming something. <laughs> See, th anyway. that's different. That, 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 that isn't me expecting something. That's me earning the right to take it. Because I did adventure yeah. and shit. I don't go like, I don't go like, where's my treasure chest for the robot parts? Well, that does fuck all. You know, I, I claim this planet in the name of Mobius. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> but this, this planet is already Mobius. <laughs> <laughs> we'll well, say Sonic, that out loud. Well, Sonic isn't the smartest tool in the shed, right? So. 
That's like me walking to Philadelphia and saying, I claim this city in the name of the United States. <laughs> uh, okay. That'll show them. Are you going to get the shiny? Yep. If I see a shiny, I must pick up the shiny. Is it a different Although, graphic for each one? In, uh, no, the, they, no, they repeat each after a while. Each area has a different shiny, but it's oh, the okay. same shiny if you pick up a shiny in that area. Okay, so, so like the level with the tin can, every single one will be a tin can, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, well at least they... <laughs> I guess they made a different graphic for each one, which is nice, I suppose. All I want to know is who the hell is burying all these spoons around the town? Sticks. <laughs> she just lost them. <laughs> <laughs> she just dropped them all over the place, okay. Marine, she's pissed that she isn't in this game. <laughs> anyway, it probably is what's going on. I mean, all those footprints, maybe it's like she left the footprints so that you could find them, and this is all some elaborate game of hers. She doesn't actually need them. She just put them for you. She's trying to lose... I'm glad that we have to make our own context on developers clearly <laughs> don't care about giving them us, giving us one. She's trying to lure out sticks so she can kill her and take her place in that, this that, franchise. That 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 sounds like the kind of paranoid bullshit Sticks herself would come up with. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now this this particular area is the longest uh, of the uh, little platforming sections that you can. Rebuild. Leave the you boxes! Know. Thank you! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I was trying to actually get higher up, because I think there's something up there, but you said, I said, fuck it. I, you know, I've gone through this area like three times uh, between both playthroughs, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure I don't have everything. But this is a really tricky jump to make. I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to make this legitimately. You're doing the I, wrong way. You yeah, you, you have right. to go to the right. <laughs> No, I I'm trying to get up top to that chest up there. Yeah, no, but sure. you gotta do it to the right. You gotta go to the right and work your way back. How? You th there's more platforming. Bounce right pad. Now. Is that a bounce pad? It looks like a bounce pad. Is that a bounce pad? <laughs> How do I jump from down there to up here without abusing? Those? No, there's more to the right. Yeah, like see, jump. like over here, you're well, supposed yeah, to see. jump up to these the... platforms. <laughs> Yeah, but how does that get me up to that chest over there? There's a bounce pad over to the right. How do I life? Really? Uh, I yeah, think I'm so. Pretty sure. Yeah, you yeah. you go under here and then there's stuff. Um, yeah, bounce pad, bounce pad, bounce pad, bounce pad. <laughs> that takes me up to there and then drops me back down into the city. Ah, uh, okay. I am an imbecile. I have no idea how you're supposed. To... You know what? I... Yes, John. How dare you forget one random collectible in Sonic Boom? <laughs> yeah, Knuckles. Yeah, it's a, I was totally wrong about this game, and it's a perfectly fine game. No, first See? off, shut up. First <laughs> off, shut up. Second off, okay, I, I, and second thought, you for, you actually did just play this for the first time like two weeks ago, so you might want to get that checked out. Um, <laughs> well, you know what, I played Ted, it three you, times. Ted, what do you know, man? You have Stockholm Syndrome, apparently, so shut up. Uh, yeah. Okay, so here we are. Oh, this is. Are we doing the side quest for the dude, farmer dude now, or that you can't actually access until after the next level, unfortunately. Oh, okay. And unfortunately, oh. I didn't get the glitch where everyone disappears when you talk to him. Uh, Damn. So yeah. Damn. You know, it happened to Johnny. It happened to me the first time. It's another case of a glitch that happened both to me and to someone else. And I fully expected to be able to show it off during the recording, but it just didn't happen. How dare the game work properly for once? <laughs> it, it, what, what actually happens is it, it's actually not a model disappearing glitch in that case. Um, I don't know what happens to cause it, but when you talk to the guy at some point, your characters all warp sideways into one of the one of the fields to the side that you're actually supposed to be digging out mole rat things in, and. Uh, and once the conversation is done, it instantly starts you out on, in that field, which is the harder of the two, by the way. Um, if I had to guess, it's probably the, the, the coding uh, transporting the characters too early. Um, again, you know, I know nothing about programming, so I'm talking out of my ass. That, that's exactly what it is. Well, what you, what's, what's actually supposed to happen is you're not supposed to be transported anywhere in the first place. You're supposed to you're supposed to just be let go right in front of the guy, and you can pick which of the two fields to do first. But no, the game wanted me to do the hard one first. Fuck you, game. 
hard, quote unquote. <laughs> well, it's it's harder in the sense that it's harder to catch the mole rats when you're digging, but uh, also there were more bomb rats, which is always a pain. Is there any point to that house? Uh, there's a I think uh, there's a, a crown inside it. Is usually someone what lives there, Johnny. That's the point, all right. I don't think there's a crown inside that, but when you rebuild something, there is a chance that you're spawning other collectibles around the general area, so I don't know. Even if it has nothing to do with that? Yeah, even if it has nothing to do with that. I'm not sure. I d didn't check around here. I just did it because it was a thing that I could do with my other things, see. There's things in these things! I was gonna say that, damn it, Clement! <laughs> Fail! <laughs> <laughs> there is a secondary function to the repair things in this particular area, namely the light, namely the windmills. If you repair the windmills around here, you restart the zip lines back in town. Okay, so... you know people. Oh, sorry. Um, go finish. ahead. <laughs> no, you finish, because I'm gonna go on a completely right. different tangent. <laughs> I was just gonna say that that doing that is worthwhile because it gives you a fast travel option through uh, Bygone Island. I almost said Bygone Alley. God damn it! <laughs> it's fucking contagious, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, anyway, you know people give this game's graphics crap, and you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny them that because it uh, it is technically not a very good looking game at all. But it does grass better than Hyrule Warriors because uh, if you play Hyrule, <laughs> that's Warriors, a compliment. <laughs> Really? <laughs> <laughs> IGN seven out seven point eight. Too much grass. Okay, no. Here's okay. Let, let me just finish what I'm saying first. Okay, okay. okay go ahead. I'm well, sorry. Well, well, first off, I just got distracted. There were shadows of the rings underneath uh, the, the, the 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 platform. So okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> if you look at the grass and boom, it's it's one object, and if you change the camera angle, the grass like. Um, the grass, you know, you're seeing the grass from different angles. In Hyrule Warriors, the grass is just one 2D object, and if you rotate the ca the camera, the grass rotates with you so that it's always <laughs> facing front. So it's really? like the trees in Super Mario 64. Yes, it's exactly like the trees in Super Mario 64. <laughs> They're still doing 2D shit like that? Oh my god, I didn't know that. This game is better than Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> Ted confirmed it. <laughs> that is some Wolfenstein 3D shit. You know, in Wolfenstein, everything except the hallways is a 2D sprite, so everything turns with you. The tables, the treasures, the toilets, the... <laughs> the dead bodies. You. Yeah, the dead bodies. Hey, if the toilet turned with you, there would be less of a chance of my brothers making a mess all over the bathroom floor. Ugh. Oh, Ted! Oh, would be it's it's great to hear. I said my brothers, not me. <laughs> oh, yeah, alright. You ain't got no brothers. Quit blaming I, I, I do have brothers. <laughs> Prove it. Um, okay, well... Bring, bring him on this LP to defend themselves about your horrible accusations about them. Okay, I don't have to <laughs> even do that because there's clips of my brothers r running into the room and yelling things while we're recording crap. <laughs> now, now, Ted, Ted, when you, when you say crap... <laughs> yes, I am referring to the quality of our videos. <laughs> I was I was referring to the feces. You just said that they smeared all up and down your toilet. <laughs> I I have no idea why this why this particular area is here. This house, this uh, ledge area, this bridge that leads to it. There's nothing over here. Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Nothing but empty promises. It's showing off the amazing grass textures this game has. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know what? I, you know, I, I was looking on Facebook uh, earlier, and uh, you know, I saw pictures of the environments that were shown off for this game while it was in development. Oh yeah. Compared to what actually co came out in this game uh, when they released what it. What a fucking it, it, downgrade! Yeah, it's like seriously, Jesus Christ. That that is true. Although I will say a lot of games look better in their concept. Like, I mean, like. Uh, yeah, that that haven't no. If you look at an E3 trailer for anything, it looks better than the final. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not excusing Boom. Boom, like the downgrade is, it's laughably how much downgraded. But I will just say, like, that's not, that's not exclusive to Boom. You know, like you can't. Yeah, I know, but it's just, but still, whether or not it's exclusive to it, it still happened, and I can still get myth about it. Oh yeah, it, it looks like it's 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 laughably bad. How it, it, it yeah. You know, I I was reading something where um. 
like again, this hasn't been confirmed by anyone, but but like like most games, this was um, Boom was being made. Um, they started development using PCs because I, I I guess at the start they didn't know exactly what console this would be for, and there's there's rumors going around that about midway through development, um, Sega will, will like um, put this on Wii U because we want to use up the last like Nintendo exclusive contract type of thing. And so, and so that's why, you know, they were being forced to use the CryEngine on the Wii U, which, which you know, because at that point, people said it couldn't be done. Big Red Button technically proved them wrong. It, it was it was doable, it just wasn't doable well. It's not optimized. So, like, that's yeah. why, like, so that's why a lot of the earlier stuff looks so much better. Which, and I think, I think that probably makes the most sense. Like, it, it, they, they were maybe thinking of this for maybe PS4, X, Xbox One, before they well, were like, no, Wii U. Not even, probably just PS3 and Xbox 360 because. Oh yeah, you know, maybe. Well, here, here's the thing though, uh, it's it, it's not in concept. It, they had environments that that looked better, so <laughs> like actual rendered environments. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I want to know what happened to all those awesome looking assets. Amy has them. This, the, the, no, that, that ring in the background, right there, that, in, in the background, that right there is, like, the exact screenshot I was thinking of. Mm. It's just, if you look at any E3 trailer for any game, like, Dark Souls, uh, uh, Hayden, Hyperbit Hero, did a really great video on Dark Souls 2, I think. Anything that gets an E3 trailer is given way more attention than, you know, uh, than the game itself. And it's just a marketing thing, you know? It, it's bullshit, but it happens to nearly every game that comes out, so... It's... True, but I still don't... What, you know... Um, again, you know, uh, like Gareth... I know, I understand it's it, it's a matter of fact, but it doesn't excuse it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, yeah again, like, it doesn't excuse it, because, like, the, the downgrade boom got is, like, one of the worst downgrades I've ever seen, you know? <laughs> It's just, hey, you know, yeah. it's just, a, it's a, I think it's a, it's an industry problem more than just specifically a boom problem, is more what I'm Generations saying. actually improved, because if you look at earlier trailers, there's one, oh, yeah. there's a set, there's a section in Speed Highway, where, when Sonic, um, he touches a spring and turns into a ring. They fixed that for the game, so, you know what, high five generations, you fix shit from a trailer. Well, it's, it's, well, <laughs> there's a, there's a bit in, uh, I think it's, uh, the, the Smash 3DS, uh, direct. Where if you like freeze frame for a moment, like they they show uh, a scene from the uh, the 3D Land uh, stage, and like one of the blocks just uh, momentarily like f uh, spazzes out and like transports to a half uh, a screen over for some reason. <laughs> so you know sometimes er yeah. there's bugs in the the trailers that they just like miss or something. Uh, well, Sakura yeah. was like, I don't give a sh everyone's gonna buy it anyway. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Actually, on the subject of Sonic Generations, when they first started showing off. Uh, uh, screenshots and stuff of it. Sonic's model was hideously incomplete. <laughs> yes, like, the, like the, especially the face. The face and the eyes look like shit compared to the final model. And, and, and you know, it was so obviously incomplete that I was kind of bamboozled by how many people thought that was going to be the final model. I was like, what are you smoking, people? <laughs> Couldn't they have just used uh, his Unleashed model uh, for that, though, as a placeholder until they finished the new one? You know what's weird? According to, um, uh, this came, I read this on a forum post in Sonic Retro, and so, I, with, with stuff like this, I'm in totally inclined to believe them. It, um, apparently, Unleashed still has the most, um, like, still has the best model in terms of, like, polygons and stuff. Uh, the Unleashed model is the most complex. So I'm not sure why they downgraded for like generations, but there you go. Ah, uh, it's a performance thing. Because you really? know why? Because Unleashed is our hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, this this particular Hydra dashing boss section. The first time I played the game, I was hoping that I was, I was half hoping it would happen again. But the first time I played the game, the Hydra dashing section immediately after this Knuckles and Amy running section just didn't load. Uh, <laughs> it didn't load and I was no, it, it, like as in Seaside Hill in our Generations playthrough didn't load. The entire level was invisible, and Sonic was just running. Fortunately, that's amazing. None of the ops. Fortunately, this area here actually, but fortunately, none of the obstacles loaded either. Neither did Lyric, even though I could hear him <laughs> shouting at me. So I just had to keep <laughs> running until the game registered that the next section it started, and it was fine. <laughs> Being haunted by Lyric's but, rage. Yeah. <laughs> that was my big first playthrough glitch. Worry, I, got 
I will say I do I do I do like the idea of this um, section. I like the fact that you're chasing both villains. One thing I will say is that, is that those little cutscenes where Sonic and Knuckles throw back the um the uh, crystal to each other. Not that you really would, but if you decide to switch characters, those cutscenes always show Sonic and Knuckles. So if you say playing as as Tails, Tails will throw it. Then if on the reverse you're playing as Amy, Knuckles will throw it back to Sonic. Yeah, you play the same cutscene twice. Why would you ever? They do. It's really it's the Knuckles. exact same thing. <laughs> why would you ever not play as Knuckles in this section? You get to see the hilarious sight of his burly Sonic Boom design running like Sonic, which is all kinds of weird to me. And also, Knuckles has the best dialogue in this. <laughs> Wait, it's weird, like they 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 put these. They put these, uh, they, they put these balls down that like Knuckles can um, knock into Eggman, but really you don't like it doesn't really make a difference. You can just not do any of them, and the ending is still. See, he references Leg Day. I love that. Today was not a cardio day. That's kind of funny. <laughs> but um, like like you can you can not hit the balls at all. It doesn't really make any difference. But I I kind of wish this was more of an actual, and that's hilariously bad. I kind of wish this was more of an actual <laughs> boss fight where you had to like hit Eggman and or Lyric a certain amount of times before yeah. it ended rather than just you have to just run it for that X amount of time before the section ends. Uh, well, yeah. it is one, still one of the better speed sections in the game, I will say, because uh, it's not as... Oh, yeah. um, I, I, I will say that, at the very least. Yeah, I, I agree with it's that. It's not any different to me. Whatever. You're, you're so fucking hard to please. <laughs> you run and avoid shit, the same as you've been doing... The last six Spock just, Street sections. Jordy, you, Jordy, you've just described every single Sonic game, alright? I, I, I described every <laughs> single box speed section in this game. Thank you very much.